the job centre used to sign off photographs and they won't do that now. I thought, Les, that I was going to have to be a bit rude to you when, when you started down this path. I thought I was going to come out with one of my very unkind lines, like um, I'm going to have to wait for your autobiography to find out how this ends. But actually, you've made a really powerful point, is that photo ID usually does involve some form of sanction, doesn't it, from, from a, what did you say, a, a, stand, a, a ranking... A person of standing in society. So I'm quite lucky because I've got some friends who are lawyers, So mm-hmm. when I, or, or even I come to work in the morning and, you know, there'll be a, a, a chief financial officer or someone whose job description fits the bill. I'm sure I've heard of GPs charging for this. Again, my apologies if I'm misremembering that. But I asked my GP and they said they didn't do it. Well, I think you've just highlighted another problem. Albeit... Uh, If I could go on... Well, hang on. Yeah, go on then. (laughs) Uh, Right. But here's another thing about it, James. Yeah, I'm all ears. When this scheme that the job centre started saying that they will pay for provisional licences, when that hit the media, guess who were up in arms about it? Uh, The right wing. Right wing red tops. You know what they went... Ballistic. I had to pay for my driving license. Why are the taxpayers paying for the unemployed to get the, uh, driving licenses? When in fact, James, it's to help us find work. It, well, hypocrisy is everywhere. Hypocrisy you know, is everywhere, and I, I hear well, I hear your grievance. I really do. Speaking of hypocrisy, because someone's pointed out to me in a in a text message that um. A lot of the Brexit Party Limited were up in arms about what they perceived as excessive expenditure in the European Parliament. They all got given a laptop. I can't wait to hear how they feel about the Queen having a carriage just for her hat this uh, <laughs> this morning as it made its way to, to the... <laughs> they're going to go absolutely spare.